and we are now just a few weeks away from the start of this unprecedented school year and medical experts continue to weigh in on what's best. Today we learned CMS will start the year with all remote learning. Meanwhile, other districts in our area are moving to a mix of in person and virtual. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner has more from an expert from Johns Hopkins University. Most kids in the Charlotte area are doing at least some learning virtually, but an expert says if everybody in the community does their part, getting them back in the classroom is not far out of reach. Before we can safely get our kids back inside of the classroom, we have to take a hard look at what's going on outside of it in our community. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense if we're taking all these measures in school to try to limit our exposure to each other, but then people go and congregate in large social settings when they're not in school. Jennifer Nuzzo is part of the Johns Hopkins University COVID-19 Testing Insights Initiative, studying coronavirus trends around the world. When it comes to reopening schools responsibly, it has to be a team effort. Simple things we've heard time and time again. Wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing your hands often can help speed up the process. Um, the more of us who are committed to doing that, the lower infections will be in a community and the easier it will be to open schools without concerns that they may have to shut again. And for parents who are weighing the options, look at the bigger picture when it comes to your family's health. We're, we're less worried about children as we are about adults with this virus. And so I, for me, it would be, um, you know, how worried are you about the adults in the family? She says when schools are able to reopen, the transmission rates inside of the building will likely be low. In Uptown, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.